Naji here. So we are continuing our discussion with Hugging Face Transformers. In this video, we will be discussing on zero shot text classification. So by definition, we can say that zero shot text classification is a task in natural language processing where a model is trained on a set of labeled examples. Okay, the model is trained on a set of labeled examples, but then the model is able to classify new examples to a unseen classes. Okay, so consider a supervised learning scenario. Okay. So in a supervised le say, learning scenario, we know that we have a data set, we have a labeled data set. Okay, and we can say that the features and the classes are the labels and we will train the model and after training we will pass some input to the model and we will ask them to inference or predict. So the model will classify into any one of the trained classes. So that is what happening in the supervised learning. Okay, so in supervised learning we need a huge set of label data. Okay, so in a uh, training purpose we may get all the label data from Kaggle or any other public domain but in a real scenario when we do a pro project with respect to a domain specific though it will be very hard to get the data okay nowadays people are using chat gpt to create the synthetic data but still it is very hard because we need to verify we need to analyze that the synthetic data is correct so that all things are there but that is what usually happening in the supervised learning so in zero shot classification what actually happens is that we can classify a new example to a unseen labels okay so if if we train the model to classify into a b c d okay then using the supervised learning or zero or sorry using the zero shot learning we will able to classify new text into e and f okay so i will show you an example then it will be like very clear so consider a human scenario how this happens uh, among us right consider a child okay and we show like all the pictures of animal to a child except uh, zebra okay and uh, and we show him like uh, pictures of maybe birds and the trees and all all the things except zebra okay then after that we we show him a picture of zebra and ask him okay uh, classify or recognize this particular uh, per thing in the picture or animal in the picture okay so the child will able to identify that okay anyway this is an animal okay and which has a more resemble to horse okay so maybe like the child may be saying that okay this animal this may be a horse with uh, uh, some kind of a stripes in the body okay so it is uh, able to like relate the particular animal with a horse the zebra with a horse similar to that like we uh, usually like i did it in most of the time in university exams when we get a, in double quotes when we get a, some questions that is auto syllabus and in double quotes i'm saying it in double quotes auto syllabus questions what we will do we will try to relate this with uh, something that we studied right then we will try to answer that particular question okay so that is what happening like in our in our like university exam also similar to that in zero shot classif classification what it does is okay when we give a um, a text okay and we are saying that okay this is a text and classify this into like a e and f category okay so we train the model to predict the label a b c d okay and we want a new text to be classified into e and f Okay, so this E and F is a new labels which is not shown or which is not given in the training time. Okay, so what model does is model try to um, maybe like in a similarly like model try to map this kind of um, E and F semantically with A, B, C, D and it will try to relate these two things and maybe we can say that it can be apply like in a simple terms it can be um, check like a distance between two labels and some kind of a techniques can be applied here okay then model will able to exactly classify these text into E and F okay so that is what happening in the zero shot classifier so one advantage is that it does not require huge amount of data 
okay so and it relies on the existing data exist label data and which will try to as i mentioned like it will try to do the semantic relation try to build a semantic relation between the seen labels and the unseen labels okay that is how it will categorize the new input text i know it is a um, little um, it's not that much difficult to understand but when we do a uh, sample exercise it is you guys will feel that this is a very simple thing okay so as usual what we need to do we can install a transformer pip install transformers can be installed and we can import the pipeline okay so we can import from transformers we can import pipeline okay from transformers import pipeline okay let let me okay maybe i have to run it pip install transformers i have to run it again okay okay so just do a pip install transformers then let me import the pipeline it will be in between like i can create a classifier here classifier i can create a pipeline this is for the zero shot classification right zero shot classification okay i am doing zero shot classification so here we can see that by default it is downloading a model called bart large mnli which is belongs to facebook okay we can see it here see since we didn't supply the model it is taking a uh, a model from facebook okay which is trained on mnli data set i believe okay now what we are going to do we are going to classify a text we are going to classify a new text okay um this is my text this is a course about transformer library okay and i need to classify this into few labels okay so candidate label we can we can, i can pass the labels here okay i need to classify this into education or maybe politics or business okay say spelling issues here okay now let me run this one <coughs> Okay, I'm getting an error. Lang type has no lang. Can the date? Okay. Now it is running. Okay. See the result. It is giving label as education and education has a score of zero point nine nine four. and business is like very less value right now let me give another another label also here i can give learning then i can give maybe uh, just give these two things uh, let me see how this behaves study and the learning so here we can see that this sentence is more related to learning with the 0.49 percentage and 0.30 percentage is related to study and uh, 0.18 it is related to education and the rest of the things business and politics there is actually there is no relation it is giving like 0.07 and 0.02 okay so uh, this is this is cool right so the model is able to classify it into like almost in a correct way 
the study learning in the order of like learning study and the education okay so this is how the zero shot classifier work okay it looks the semantic meaning and it is try to relate the new labels new candidate labels with the uh, the tra with with the model 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 is the labels the model is trained with okay so that is how it successfully classifying this into uh, correct classes correct candidate labels okay okay so uh, that is all about in this tutorial please do like and subscribe i will share this um, uh, this notebook to my github repository i will attach this to the description thank you very much for watching this have a nice day bye bye